Hey, hey, everybody, listen, got a quick story for you about Kiki Palmer. Kiki Palmer is saying, you know what? The music industry is probably sinister too. It's sinister just like the acting industry. And she said, just like the Me Too movement kind of went through the acting industry, she said it needs to go through the music industry because some very sinister things happens in the music industry also. So listen, guys, while we do this commercial break, I need you to hit that like button and subscribe if you're not a subscriber, because in just 60 seconds, we're going to get into this Kiki Palmer story. Hope y'all were jamming to the intro. So let's get into this, okay? Kiki Palmer wants the Me Too movement to roll right on through the music industry. Now, let me share this screen here and let's get into Kiki's story, okay? Kiki Palmer says it's time the Me Too movement catch up with predators in the music industry, okay? So they said one thing about Kiki Palmer. She is always going to keep it real when sharing her truths. All right, now, Kiki, let's get into this, okay? Now, I'm probably going to have to change some words so we don't trigger and get you too mad. But Kiki Palmer is ready for the Me Too movement to unveil predators of S harassment and more in the music industry. It hasn't happened in music, and it should. She's saying bad stuff happens in all industries, and I agree with her, okay? Corporate America, all that. Obviously, but specifically in entertainment, I do believe, I do believe it runs a little more rampant in the entertainment industry, okay? And that's why a lot of these entertainers, they're jacked up, but I think they're jacked up because of the jacked up experiences that they encounter and go through while trying to just do the craft that they love. She recently told people the social movement was founded by Tarina Berg in 2006, but grew to prominence around 2017 when Hollywood executive Harvey Weinstein faced mounting claims of, you know, misconduct. That span back to the 1990s. I'm going to leave some words out. Um, you understand why. We know bad things happen in all of them. But it's almost like the acting world represents a union and the music industry represents a non-union. So, you know, when you have a job that has unionized, um, you know, it's a little more order to it. At least you have somebody to go, through, go to to complain. But she's saying in the music industry, it's like a non-union. You don't have nobody to go to. You on your own. This is what Palmer said. It's happening in the actor world, but eventually it's going to um, come to, you know, a halt. OK, somebody's going to get called out. Something's going to happen. At some point, we're going to come to some kind of understanding with music. It's like everybody's being paid and everybody's a crooked cop. So it seems like nothing will ever really come to head. So she's comparing the acting industry and the music industry. And she said, you know, they're, they're at least getting some justice over there in the acting world when it comes to these predators. But she's feeling like in music, nobody's helping. The actress had some has had um, more than her fair share of worrisome moments with her male industry peers, some of which she addressed publicly in past interviews. And now in her di directorial debut, Big Boss, a 40-minute film that accompanies her new album of the same name, she shares yet another undesirable encounter that's sad in the visual she show a scene where a fictional artist explains that he only collaborates with female artists who are willing to exchange sexual favors you you know what i'll never understand i don't understand how people enjoy um 
these particular acts with somebody that doesn't care anything about them or someone that they're forcing to do it. I, I, I get confused by that. Parma 29 recently told the publication that the cinematic moment was based on a real life experience she had as far as being in an uncomfortable situation as a woman where I'm either being um, harassed, you know, intimidated or just being made uncomfortable in a space that's dominated mostly by men. Those are very real people. And that's a very real accurate situation. And there are countless others, she explained. So she did a little 40 minute movie. And although she's saying um, it's not, it's not, it's loosely based on real events. Okay, so she changed names and stuff as characters, but she said it's based on real events. The key TV founder has been making music and films since she was a kid. And by trial and error, she admitted that she has learned the hard way not to trust very many people. And the way she said the big boss is her testimony, um, showing how she managed to survive and build a thriving career despite mis misogyny and other obstacles. Oh, being a woman is the biggest mistake you can make is trusting somebody. I wish that there was more that I could do, but it seems that we can't even really expect for people to respect our boundaries. Now my best way of coping is to just not go places alone, not really let my hair down, not really get too comfortable, explained the multifaceted talent. You know, that's sad that you can't even be yourself because if you, if you, if you be yourself, you leave yourself vulnerable to vultures taking advantage of you. Very sad. She noted that she goes through various um, preventative me measures to ensure her safety and comfort. The sad thing is that you learn these things from being in bad situations, added the actress. Big Boss, the album, is available on all streaming platforms. The film can be viewed on Key TV and on YouTube. I'm going to try to find it on YouTube. Now, Key TV, I'm not doing another subscription. I told y'all that. But I will, you know, I'm going to write that down. Big Boss, I'm going to look for the, because um, they said it's only 40 minutes. That's not bad. I'm going to look for it on YouTube. And I would say to Kiki Palmer, I hate that she had to learn her lessons the hard way. But I would hope maybe she can do some type of female group. And all the young ladies that are coming in the music industry or even the entertainment industry, she can, you know, teach them before they have to go through a bad situation like she did. I like Kiki Palmer. And, and I mean, her baby that she recently had, gorgeous, gorgeous. Matter of fact, let me see in case y'all did not see her baby. Let me see if I could pull this up. Um, the baby is absolutely adorable. I mean... And she took some cute pictures. I don't know um, if the pictures were for, um, you know, just for Mother's Day or just um, so that she could take them. I'm going to share my screen again so I could show y'all. Let's look at these pictures. Um, I'm glad that Kiki is speaking up because she's right. This has to stop. Look at her after having that baby. Go, come on, Kiki. I'm not mad at you, girlfriend. Look at him. Ain't he cute? Leo, all right. All right, I'm not going to play any of this. Um, maybe let's see what she's saying here. Let's see if we can... Um... Romantic, like, I'm done waiting, you know, for people, for this, for that. Like, I'm taking charge. I'm doing my own thing. Um, and so that's essentially where that, that song um, came from. But I just love that it kind of had, like, a little rap vibe to it. Because I do, like... Like I could sing, sing down, honey, but not always do you want to hear a record where somebody is blowing like a, like a damn Disney record. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you want to just hear something that's like, hey. And so I really love waiting because it was like that verse. I see through your life. I am not a fool. Got some nerve when this body got the chills. It's just kind of like a cool little flow to it. Mm -hmm. So I really love that. You know, uh, so that record is one of my, my favorites. But waiting is one. Of I like her. I like her a lot. I, I mean, she's a young lady. Um, she's only 29. I think she's absolutely gorgeous. So let's support, um, Kiki Palmer and this, um, documentary or film that she did it's only 40 minutes. You can find it on YouTube and look at her, honey, drop that baby and drop that weight already. She looks amazing. Okay. So let's see if, um, you know, I'm gonna watch it. And after I watch the, um, film, I'll let y'all know how I feel about it. I'll come back and let y'all know. But in the meantime, she's talking about a very serious topic. She's saying that someone needs to look into the music industry because these men 
in the industry are trying to take advantage of females by asking for sexual favors um, just so that they can follow their dreams, so to speak. Whew. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. Don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And I'll see you on the next video.